all my social media is still like cheater, 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 cheater. It's like if the actual real story, there was like a bunch of weird shit going on that never got out. Well, all right, um, well, and like, we need I, clips for this show. I'm just gonna be straight up. There was a lot of weird shit going on, like between yeah. them the entire time. Let's just between be honest, those like, two. So whole, you, so what you're saying yeah. is you're getting labeled like the cheater and the sliding in, but you, yeah. th- they, you, we were, sensed that they had something going on while you were still doing it. You're like, fuck this, I'm gonna do my own thing. It was weird, dude. They had this best friends group, and they were going on trips to Mal- like whatever Malibu or whatever they would do at night. It was like weird stuff. Like I thought about it and it was like, this is weird. I'm going to give you very, very honest advice. If you're dating a girl and she's going on <clears throat> BFF trips to Malibu at night, your girl's fucking somebody else. Like that's just <laughs> dude. <laughs> yo, that's fact. And le- like- unless Noah isn't straight, which he clearly is because they're dating, they were fucking. Griffin did an interview the other day, right? And he said when uh, Dixie, you, when Dixie was still dating Griffin, you guys used to take trips to Malibu, you two together, and he feels like Dixie's the one that cheated on him instead of the other way around. You know what's funny? What's your reaction to that? Well, the funny thing is that didn't happen until after we broke up. Yeah. And we, I went to Malibu one time with mm-hmm. Noah, Ryan, Rylan, and Nick for a photo shoot. Yeah. If I didn't do my first trip to Malibu when we went with Addison until after I came home after my graduation, after um, Griffin and I broke up. Yeah. So it was just weird how like the timeline got messed up, but. So he's, it's not, he's just making speculations. It's not true. Yeah. 